In this video, we're gonna be looking at a shoe that the guys from Start Fitness said to me, you know what, Foldy? This is a bit of a sleeper hit. I think you need to check out the Reebok Floated X1. Fordy Runs. My name is Chris Ford and I'm a running and athletics coach based here in the UK. When I'm not coaching runners, I'm making YouTube videos about running shoes and running in general. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. Okay team, so if you didn't know, we work with the guys at Start Fitness, one of the biggest UK online retailers. And if you use the code 40 Runs, you're gonna get a discount over there. You're welcome. And the guys there are awesome. And occasionally they go to me, you know what Fordy, we've had this shoe come in and we think you might like it. It's a bit of a sleeper hit. It's one of those shoes that maybe Fordy you haven't realized is out there, but you know what? We think you'll really like it. So uh, the postman rang on the door, I opened up the box and inside was these. So team, this is the Reebok Float Zig X1. I was gonna say something else then. But yes, this is the Float Zig X1, but this is the one with the carbon plate. Now, Reebok went through some big changes this year and they introduced this uh, Zig technology, so that's that. So this is the foam that's got all the cutouts on it. You know, you've seen this on other shoes that we've done on the channel this year. But what they've done with this one is they've stuck a cheeky plate in it. So this is your sort of marathon training shoe, I would say, maybe into some of those longer miles where you want to do some goal pacing now. And you can kind of use it also, which is where I've been mainly using it for those sort of daily miles as well. But more sort of stuff with a bit, a little bit more pace in it. Right, so how this video is going to quickly work, so it's only going to be a quick video. We're going to talk stats and features, uh, price, things like that. Uh, then we're going to do things I like, things I don't like. Then we're going to recommend uh, where you use this shoe if you're interested uh, in it at the end of the video. Got that? Let's move on. Okay, team. So, firstly, stats and features. So, the Floatic X1 is £180 to start fitness, but like I said, if you use the code 40 runs, you're going to get 10% off of that. We've got a full length carbon plate in the shoe. We've got a 6mm drop, 33 in the heel uh, stack height, down to 27. We've got this mesh upper and uh, weighs 331 grams, it's true to size in my UK, nine and a half. We've got the Float Ride Energy Foam in here, and then we've got this carbon rubber outsole. We do have the world's longest laces, look at the size of those things. But that does help give you a really good lockdown. The tongue is gusseted, you've got a little bit of foam around the heel area to give you enough of a lockdown. It's a nice thin racing tongue actually, and that's about it. Okay, so there's the upper, which is super breathable and really nice. Like I said, the midfoot lockdown's good. There's the midsole compound, see that? So you've got like these two layers. You've got like this, it's just better showing you this way. You've got like this carrier EVA foam here. Then you've got the uh, energy foam down here. And between that is the carbon plate. Then you've got that carbon rubber outsole, which is brilliant, by the way. It's quite thick. If you look at it in terms of the tread overall, it's probably got the most out of any sort of carbon plate chew out there at the moment. Actually, it's got like four... Well, pretty much full, except for that big cut out in the middle. But it's got very good coverage, is my point, which is unusual for like those sort of marathon training up tempo, uh, yeah, racing shoes. Because ultimately, this is a racing shoe. It does got, it has got a carbon plate in it. You can use it to racing. It doesn't feel like it's a 33 uh, stack in the heel. It feels a little bit less than that. But as I said, it fits true to size. No problems there at all. Okay, so the things I like. I like the look of it. I like the feel of it. It is so comfortable, this shoe. I like the midsole compound. Works for me. I like the carbon plate and the fact that it's not very aggressive. I like the outsole. I really like the upper. And I like how stable the shoe is. Okay, so the things I don't like. I don't like the weight. 300 and something grams is just too heavy. And I don't like the price at 180 pounds. This shoe should be maximum 150 pounds. So I don't know what they were thinking at 180 pounds. And it's not really a dislike but I'm not really sure like who's gonna buy it now I can see what the guys at Start Fitness are saying because the riding this thing well it's really good it's a lot of fun it's stable it's peppy uh it's yeah I don't know it's just it's just really easy to run in but I don't know who's gonna buy it because you're gonna buy a speed four over this which you can also get at Start Fitness so yeah um uh, I get what they're saying I, I actually quite enjoy it it's, it's what I enjoy most about it is the comfort and the upper actually that's what I really like about it and the and the stable ride so I get what they're saying in terms of um it's a bit of a it's a bit of a dark horse. It's not a shoe you would consider. It's something that's really different, and I kind of like that sort of thing because I really like shoes that like sort of not everybody else likes. So I really like that that it's unique, it's different, and yes, it is genuinely a very good ride. And yes, you can pick up the pace, and yes, you can hold that pace over a reasonable distance. But at 180 pound, who's going to buy it? Because like I said, you can buy the Speed Four. So this shoe I think works for somebody who goes to the gym 
uh, and does running as well. So I think this is more of a hybrid shoe, actually. I think this is a shoe that somebody who may be like, oh, high rocks is the wrong word, but they're, they're doing multi-sport, you know? So you're doing maybe gym work, you're using running as part of your cardio and that sort of thing. That's where I think this shoe will appeal to certain people because it's different. You do get the carbon plate in here. You do get some really nice uh, responsive foam. You get a really good ride. You've got a great upper. It is comfortable more than anything else. You're going to get loads of wear and tear out of it with this outsole. So I think that will appeal to a lot of people, but I think it's one of those shoes that sort of, you know, can do the gym work really well and then can go out and do some running and, you know, maybe you're training for a half marathon or something like that. I think that's where this shoe or who this shoe will appeal to. This is not like a hardcore running shoe. It's not like somebody like me who's like in multiple marathon training blocks and all that sort of thing. You know, I'd much rather be in a speed four, but I think if you are that person who is doing, you know, your gym work and all the other sports that you do, but you also want a good running shoe, then this is interesting. Got it? Okay, so yeah, there we go, right? So yes, thanks to the guys' stuff. Is I like those kind of shoes. I like the ones that are a little bit different to the norm. I like the ride in that shoe. It is a really good uh, responsive ride in it. And you wouldn't and probably even think about looking at the shoe. Like, I mean, who would look at Reebok Flozig X1 for a, like a marathon training shoe? Well, you just wouldn't, would you? And that's the cool thing. So thank you very much to the guys' stuff Fitness for sending, sending that over. I think it's good to sort of highlight these shoes that are a little bit different, a little bit out there. And I say, it might appeal to somebody else, somebody different than you norm right guys so there we go let me know in the comments interested in that Reebok uh, Flowrite X1 if you are head over to the guys at Start Fitness if that's not the shoe for you then make sure you check out all the other shoes they've got they're very very competitive in terms of uh, pricing of all the latest shoes so head over to Start Fitness and use that code 40 runs okay team that's it for me don't forget to subscribe and I shall catch you all later